All right. We slept right here in the easement of uh, 62 Highway, Crater Lake Highway. In between this fence and the highway and uh, the road dead ends right here. Um, they're like the side road to the highway. So it was perfect, perfect little spot. It was seemingly legal, legit. And been grazing them for the last 20 minutes. So nobody even saw us, not hurting anything. Not on private property. Not even on abandoned property. Oh, we're a public easement. Oh, God help us. Just trying to sleep. Just trying to eat. What a good sheep, thank you. Yes. Good sheep, JC. Thank you, JC. Yeah. What a good sheep. She gave me that much milk for the first of her three milkings of the day. A little bit more than a third of a bottle. She's still providing providing her big baby here with uh, like a quarter of a gallon a day, which uh, sheep milk is twice the butter fat and twice the solids, twice the nutrients all around than goat or cow milk. So um, a quarter of a gallon is more like a half gallon. Yeah, I just stopped to get uh, fill up with some water. That spigot right over there at this uh, Abbey's Legendary Pizza. I gotta let them graze here. Um, hopefully we don't get kicked out. And as soon as the sun comes out, I'm going to flip that solar panel open. I'm gonna flip it open right now and plug in one of those batteries so it can trickle charge. Yay. I love it. I love this new solar panel. All right, taking our brick from the last spot. Now we got our water behind the Abbey's legendary pizza. We're at, uh, I don't know, whatever this intersection is. We're right across from the VA. JC! JC's chilling. And Wooly, I got staked out in the middle right there with this 12 inch nail and I got the solar panel charging and it charged this phone uh, from 3% to 22% in the I don't know half an hour or 20 minutes it took to walk this mile or maybe two miles so yeah the solar panel is uh, seeming to keep us charged look at the bus everyone everyone can probably see us on the bus. A lot of people talk to me about how they see us from the bus. And it makes them so happy. Good sheep. Look at this. Irrigated. It's the Washington Federal Bank. They have a sprinkler system. Right there. And uh, obviously it sprays it out. Uh, and not the specific direction of their... Uh, of just their plants. Uh, it sprays it in the median too because uh, this is all lush. So yeah, we just got here and... You're kidding me. You, you, you're you going to come through and, and start. Uh, we just laid down <laughs> to rest. Uh, she laid down to rest. Um, and you are coming through to, to weed whack? Yeah. Wow. Did they call you? Uh, it was my uh, boss's to do list for me to do. Did he, did he call you? Just now? He called me actually right away here. So make sure you get to do, uh, you get this. So he called, he called you like in the last 20 minutes? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I was like leaving uh, the other bank in Medford. He's like, what's the 20? Uh, on my way to Bacon White City. Huh? Hit the ditch. Got it. Wow. Oh, well. Okay, cool. Um, uh, We'll be out of here in, uh, in the next minutes. Well, I'm actually, I'm going to be starting down there. Okay. Um, so when I get like here, I'm gonna okay. migrate down there and stuff like that. Like, okay. Yeah, thank thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah. Because this is like, this is like, you know, the only irrigated place that isn't private property, technically. Yeah. You know. Yeah. 
I miss the fucking ditch. <laughs> yeah, it's a ditch. They, they need a gray, so I yeah. don't get it. Exactly. Uh, All right. Shade spot down there, so I'll get that cleared out with my way this way. Cool beans. Thank you, sir. I, I appreciate it. Yeah. Have a good day out. Oh, my God. My life just got so much better. It's ridiculous. Thank you, butcher shop. You got local cherries. Mmm. You got a bunch of, not one of each flavor of their, their jerkies. They have um, beef and elk from Manzano Farm in Klamath Falls. I got a chocolate chip cookie from this Krusty's. I thought they baked these here. They were on the counter. It looked like they were baked in here, but Krusty's in Medford. And I got local rogue creameries uh tovel i've never tried this one they have like 50 different flavors it's ridiculous this company's amazing and i got some kimchi in a plastic jar so it's not gonna break that's what sold me on it um and i was hoping it was local but i was from tacoma and then i got uh yeah i got like freaking i don't know probably eight different beef jerkies and elk jerkies it's gonna be ridiculous and then I got uh, a couple years of corn, uh, sweet onions, and potatoes. Going from hungry as hell to so satiated. Oh my god. I've literally lost a couple pounds though. I think. In the last three weeks they've been trying to trying to live without using traditional um, forms of currency and just trading and borrowing my uh, my wiki dollars and my walnut coins to people for food but I ran out of uh, wiki dollars yesterday I got done with my last one and I don't want to give away my last one so because I want to be able to show, show it to people. So. I got uh, walnut coins left. But I don't like trading just those. I like trading in combination. of wick dollars and walnut coins. To people. So yeah. I ran out of wiki dollars yesterday. To be able to trade. And luckily I had been wondering. Whether my food stamp card. That was still in my, um, my pack. Uh, if it it was possible that there that I miscounted months and that it would it was refilled um, for uh, one last month and I called the number that was back on it that was on the back of it uh, yesterday and sure enough sure enough it uh, was re-upped and freaking just in time because there's this like local local farm fresh um, market type thing um, here out in the middle of, uh, I don't know, this is like an, a local foods oasis store out in the middle of a bunch of gas stations and crap food, uh, fast food. So um, I'm really grateful. Everything has worked out the way it has. I learned lots, several, um, several indispensable things uh, from necessity while I was uh, starving myself, quite literally. And, uh, yeah, like, how to process the, and utilize those wild oats. Um, uh, I finally uh, had enough motivation to grind up um, those wild sweet peas and make bread with them and make split wild split peas soup. And what else did I, did I accomplish by um, starving myself for the last uh, several weeks? Um, wild wheat um, I had collected wild wheat before uh, a little bit of it but not like uh, and I never ground it up and made bread with it um, so I had motivation to collect so much wild wheat and to grind it up in my hand grinder and make bread out of it and make so many meals out of it um, yeah there's got to be at least a couple other things that I was forced into learning or discovering by 
um, by forcing myself not to use uh, traditional forms of currency, uh, official forms of currency for uh, a couple weeks. I think it was two and a half weeks or three weeks. Now, did this? I tried to go for a month, but honestly, uh, uh, when I started realizing that I was um, that I ran out of my tradables, my tradable currency, and that I was losing weight, and I found out that my food stamps were up, and I found out that I was passing this store, I went for it. So yeah, I. I'm gonna burn through this last month of uh, food stamps. Man. I'm gonna try to work trade for someone to order me some of that sorghum. And then I'll try to go about um, consuming the sorghum while uh, planting it. And then hopefully before long, I'll have uh, I'll have enough gorilla stands of uh, sorghum dough. At least supplement, help supplement my diet in a more sustainable way. We'll see.